someone's laying in my building dead. They're shooting and everything. I closed the door and I just heard the gunshot up in there. I just heard somebody shooting. Somebody got shot. It doesn't appear that Amber was the intended target. I'm Detective Jacqueline Brandt with Columbus Police, and I'm in the homicide unit, and I'm investigating the murder of Amber Calloway. She was a young adult, and she had all of the typical dreams of a young adult. She wanted a family, she wanted to get married, she wanted to have children, and she wanted to begin her life as a productive member of society. She was 28 years old, but she had a learning disability, so that made her mental age a lot younger than her physical age. And at the time that she was killed, she was still under the care of a legal guardian, but living on her own. On July 27th, 2021, at approximately 9.43 p.m., Amber Calloway and her roommate were walking home from a nearby corner store. And they were walking home to their shared apartment at Wedgwood Apartment Complex. When they reached the third level, third floor stairwell of where their apartment was located, they were approached by two males wearing masks and brandishing firearms. They told both of them to open the door, which is open the door to your apartment. And at that point, Amber Calloway began to scream and she attempted to run away and get away. Unfortunately, she was shot several times at that point. We were able to get video surveillance, some video surveillance of what happened. And we have video of a male black running from the nearby front entrance of the complex west of the front door. He then changes direction and runs eastbound towards the rear of the apartment complex. And we believe at that point he left in a, in a vehicle. It doesn't appear that Amber was the intended target. It, it appears as though somebody else living in that apartment that they were looking for or someone who had been staying there. It looks like they were looking for either somebody or something that was in that apartment. And unfortunately, Amber ended up being shot as she was trying to escape. Of course, nobody wants to be involved in a homicide. Nobody wants to be a witness. Nobody wants to be a part of any of these cases but we really need the public's help to help solve some of these crimes. If anyone has any information that will help us solve this crime, please contact me at 614-774-7647 or you can call Crime Stoppers at 614-461-8477. If you want to remain anonymous.